Hi there, so we're gonna dive into the uncertain seeker method. And so I named this, these methods mostly because I think it gives us a better insight into what we try to do when we use them. And so when I talk about the uncertain seeker, we're gonna start with seeker. So they're the person who are really trying to figure out like, like what kind of directions should they take with their life? What is their like purpose? What's their calling? Uh, they're seeking those kind of things out. Um, but then the uncertain part is they're very uncertain. They just, they don't know what it is. They can't quite find it. And so it leads them to trying lots of different things. Now, I'm saying this in lots of these, in all these videos here, uh, these methods, they're not set in stone. I think lots of us will swap between different pieces of each, uh, which is why the quiz that gives you like an actual percentage of like um, which one you're probably using right now. Um, so you can feel free to check out the other videos and they'll be on YouTube or Instagram um, or the links are on their quiz results page as well. And so talking about the uncertain seeker method. So how this method kind of gets direction for their life is this is the person who kind of hops from experience to experience as they kind of search for the right thing. And they're always kind of thinking like, okay, like what's the next opportunity? Uh, maybe that's the one that's gonna be right for me. And the thing is like what they do is they, they're really just searching for something that suits them. So um, they're, they're searching, which is awesome. Um, but sometimes there can be consequences with that though. Uh, Cause what happens is like, as you jump from one experience to another, um, or it might be like from one job to another, from one trip to another, from one hobby or from one friend group to another, and they're just kind of always jumping. Um, they might end up losing trust with people because when you just can keep like coming and leaving and moving on and stuff like that, uh, trust can actually like relationships can get strained and stuff like that. And I don't think the searching isn't so bad. It's just kind of that, that place where you start losing trust with people because you keep coming and going so quickly. And so the main issue with this is they, they try lots of things, which is awesome. And so they're learning lots of them, uh, learning lots about themselves, which is great, but I'm not sure if they ever really feel like they have the assurance that they found what they want. Um, and then I also wonder if there's always a bit of unsettledness. And so I think, I think the fix for this and the fix also for uh, like different relationships issues and, and building trust with people and making sure uh, you're not known as flighty per se is you really want to establish a foundation um, so you can actually be confident. And so uh, a, quick a quick little step here that you could take is I want you to take some time, just write down some questions here. So, and then start answering the questions. So one question could be like, what makes you you? Another question could be, what sets you apart from everyone else? Another question, who are you really? And you can start figuring out like how you can leverage those answers in your day-to-day -day life. And if you want some help with this, like totally, like let me know too. Um, so obviously those are really big questions and so I can gladly help you out with that. Um, but really focus on like establishing that foundation, figuring out who you are um, before you kind of keep jumping on. Because as you keep jumping on, that's kind of when you're gonna lose the relationships, you're gonna lose the trust and stuff like that. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know, but I hope this added a lot of value to you. Um, I'd love it if you'd let me know if any of it resonated and you can feel free to check out those other videos as well. So thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon.